Google Pixel 4 XL, that is what we are talking about today, boys and girls. If you are unaware, my name is Ashton McCammon. I make YouTube videos about whatever's going on in my life, whatever's new, if it's a product, if it's uh, tech, if it's uh, one wheel, an electric skateboard, if it's skateboards, uh, it doesn't matter. I'm making videos. Uh, whatever's going on, that's what I'm posting. Uh, so make sure if you haven't already, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Uh, that way you can stay up to date with what I'm posting. Without further ado though, let's jump into what we're talking about today. The Google Pixel 4 XL. I just received it literally today straight from Google. Uh, the Google store to be exact online shipped from Cali. Thanks Google. Uh, super stoked to uh, get this guy. I haven't used an Android device in a long time. It has been a cool minute uh, like the Pixel 2 to be honest. As you guys can see, we've got the phone right here upon first unbox. Uh, there's the phone. Boom. Look at it. Nice and beautiful. Uh, yep, don't listen to Google. Google's talking to us. It's all good. But yeah, guys, that's the phone. Beautiful. I got the uh, white one, as you can see. Kind of like a uh, panda. Looks a little panda-ish. I love the uh, orange power button. Nice, Google. Good job. To the box, you have got this nice little layer of cardboard. Gone. Uh, another little information of whatever. Uh, also got your SIM cool uh, in there if you need it. Uh, if not, just grab your girlfriend's uh, earring back and uh, or a paper clip and there you go. Next, got a little adapter. So if you need to transfer any of your content from your old phone to your new phone, don't need it. Uh, additionally, you've got a USB-C cable. So USB-C on one end and USB-C on the other end. Super dope. But that's just because the phone's USB-C as well. They include a USB-C power brick, 18 watt, so you can uh, get your fast charge on, woohoo. That's not what you care about though. We don't care about the unboxing. There's a million of those out there. We're here to talk about the Pixel 4 XL. This is my first impressions. Oh, sorry to hit the mic, sorry guys. Oh, apologize. <laughs> Anyways, this is my first impressions of it. Uh, out of the gate, feels great in the hand. Phone feels excellent, super lightweight. Uh, not super lightweight to the point that it feels cheap though. I know what you're thinking. Nah, uh -uh, not that light, not Pixel 2 light. I didn't like the Pixel 2 light. It was it was too light. Made me think that the phone was really cheaply made and I felt like it couldn't handle a drop. This on the other hand feels pretty nice in hand. Um, feels really good. Feels similar to like what my iPhone does wherever that got off to. How oh, it's back here wirelessly charging. <laughs> which this phone can also do, uh, if you are curious. So if you have a wireless charger, you're good to go. You can go ahead and uh, keep on charging this phone wirelessly, uh, but it's 2019, we would expect that. Additionally, you do have the squeeze on the sides to uh, get to the Google Assistant, which is super neat. Uh, they've also integrated some gestures, so you can, if the phone is uh, laying on your desk, and like say I was listening to music right now and I didn't like the music that was playing, boop, and it would go ahead and cycle through to the next song, which is super cool actually. Uh, I know we've had gestures in the past, but I felt like they've been very gimmicky, uh, and I still kinda see this as being a little gimmicky um, to a point, but the way Google's doing it with their face unlock camera that is uh, infrared, which is pretty dope, um, that, that's pretty awesome, as well as it gets you some added features like uh, you see the always on display, well, it went to the wallpaper. Normally, it's just a black screen uh, with the time and like your notifications, but the always on display will go off if uh, you're not near the phone, like if it doesn't sense that you're near it. So what I mean by sense is, as you go up to reach for this phone, it knows that you're about to grab it. It goes ahead, fires up the infrared camera up here. Uh, that way it can scan your face and unlock. You can uh, turn off so it skips the lock screen uh, entirely I don't know, me personally, I'm a big notification user. Uh, I like seeing all my notifications on there. And when I was driving earlier, my phone was in the dash mount and it kept unlocking every time I looked at it. So I may be putting it back to the lock screen. So whenever it does see my face, it still holds at the lock screen and requires a swipe. Uh, don't mind swiping, it's not a big deal to me. But uh, yeah, it's skipping the lock screen. That's not gonna do for me, not gonna happen. The biggest thing this phone is bringing to the table though is the camera. So as you guys know, I have a Canon EOS R, so I'm a pretty big camera guy. I also sell cameras for a living. That's my whole job, uh, selling DSLRs and mirrorless cameras as well as video cameras. The Pixel, I'm never really impressed by iPhone cam cameras, Pixel cameras. I'm never impressed by a phone camera. Ultimately, that sensor size is really the part that we flaw at every time. We just can't cram a big sensor behind these tiny lenses. Now, 
That being said, the phones, cameras always work out great during daylight, as you know. It's when it's in lower light scenarios that it starts to fall apart. You start to see that grain from the ISO getting too high and the sensor just being too small to handle. Uh, for instance, let me give you an example. The camera that this is being filmed on is a full frame camera. This is gonna be super quick. It can take up the ISO probably to around, I would say 10,000 before you start to see any type of grain and noise. You take something like what's in a smartphone, which is those micro four, no, not even micro four thirds. Sorry, 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 not micro four thirds, smaller than that. Um, it's a super tiny sensor, guys. It's super tiny, like maybe the size of my pinky nail, to be honest. That sensor, when there's no light, you crank that ISO up to probably 800 to 1600 and you start to see that noise. You already see that grain. Uh, that is going to be where the phones are always going to fall apart. Now, they have introduced the night sight thing. I'm super stoked to see how that goes because on the iPhone, all it's really doing is a longer exposure. That's not that cool at the end of the day. We could always just download an app at the end of the day that would let us do a longer exposure. Cool, we're good to go. Not, not really anything revolutionary there. Now, Apple did integrate the deep fusion thing, which is pretty dope. Uh, with their photo stuff, so I'm excited to see how that plays out, but we're not talking about iPhones, we're talking about the Pixel. This has got the night sight mode, and they've also introduced a new thing inside of that for astrophotography, so if you guys want to see a video comparing maybe the EOS R to the uh, Pixel 4 on astrophotography, I would love to do that, that'd be super dope, but only if you guys like care to see it, uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh, as well, I do also want to see how this stacks up compared to my iPhone 11 Pro, uh, like taking pictures and videos. I'm very curious. I'll make a video on that as well. But for today, guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Uh, as far as first impressions of the phone, literally one day of usage. Uh, I like it. It seems very snappy, very fast. Uh, battery life, okay. Not what I'm getting out of the 11 Pro. Battery life in the 11 Pro is ridiculously great. Um, shout out to you, Apple. We'll see though, we'll see over time what I think of the Pixel 4. Uh, I'll probably do a video in two weeks talking about what my opinions are of it as of then, uh, after using it and actually getting to some real world usage of it uh, throughout the days and the weeks to come, especially with the holidays here. Uh, super, super stoked to try it though, guys. If you have any questions, any comments, or any ideas for future videos, uh, please feel free to leave those in the comment section down below. Uh, as well as click that like button, it means the world to me. Uh, as well as if you haven't checked out my uh, AirPods Pro video, go ahead and go on over to my page and click on that AirPods Pro video because you can uh, win a chance of AirPods Pro uh, for free. Literally all you have to do is go like, comment, and subscribe uh, if you haven't already. And that's it, you're entered to win a pair of AirPods Pro. So yeah guys, that's all I've pretty much got for you. We'll see what I think of it. I'm super stoked, like I was saying. We'll catch you in the next video. Like I said earlier, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, press the bell so that you get a notification, and we will catch you guys in the next video. 